Hey guys, welcome to a daily video blog and even though today, whilst I'm filming, is Thursday, this video blog's going Friday. So, like last week, I'm doing a Thursday and Friday mashup and the reason why I'm starting today is because I want to give you guys an update and also a tease into the Iron Man reaction video, which I hope is going to be uploaded Saturday at midday, which is tomorrow at midday. I'm already confusing myself. But, as you can see from my laptop, if I take the glare away, I'm 90% through rendering part two of the footage. We had three video cameras filming the reactions from last Saturday. We had a GoPro on the top of the car, we had a camera inside the car, and we also had a car following us behind, which had a camera as well. And this, oh, it's just skipped to 100%, which is good. What I'm doing now is the in-car footage, which was about one hour and five minutes long, and I've trimmed it down to about 15 minutes, which is quite good. The GoPro is already down to about 10, 15 minutes, and then it's getting the outside footage from the car following us, which is coming up from Winchester, which is near Southampton, where I went to university. If you watched my video on how I got to buying an Audi R8 at 23, that video blog, and I want to show you the difficulties that I've had with the uh, file type that is trying to go through my Corel Video Studio software. So the footage that we used was off a DSLR and is a f the file type is .mov. Now for some reason it has extracted the audio file which means I've got silent footage. So what I've had to do is transfer each individual video using some free software online uh, to transfer it into MP4 so that it's available to have the audio and visuals on the same clip. The problem is, the quality isn't very good. So I've had to have the visuals from the silent clip act as the visuals, visual, visuals. Let's go with it again. I've had to use the original clip without the sound. File rendered successfully. Good stuff. I'll show you. Let's try and get away from the glare. I'll show you what I'm having to do. So I've got two files here, Iron Man Video, which is the same clips as Iron Man Audio. The Iron Man Audio is the transferred MP4 clips, which feature the sound, but is very bad quality. The Iron Man Video is .mov, which is good quality, but no sound. So this is what I'm having to do. Dragging that into there. and then I go on Iron Man Audio and click the same file and drag that further down to the sound and then I click on Project and I'm able to get the sound and the visuals in the same clip. So imagine having to do that for five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fifty-five clips I've had to do it for. So fifty-five clips have been um, exported, uh, transferred into MP4, mashed together to create the one perfect clip. So now I've got fifty-five perfect clips. I then put them all together and had fifty-five perfect clips all in one line, which equated to one hour and five minutes of footage. And then I've just watched the one hour and five minutes and edited it down into fifteen minutes. So um, that took about two and a half to three hours. I'm going to go home this evening. Hopefully, the memory card will have been delivered from Winchester, and I'll be able to get cracking late into the night onto the footage of outside of the car and then once I've got all three camera angles and all of the best footage from those camera angles then I can mash it up into one video for you guys to watch and fingers crossed what the hell was that fingers crossed the phone's ringing that it is going to be a perfect video every time I'm doing a video blog the guys downstairs which I can see on the CCTV call me which um now my other phone's going. So there you go. That is Thursday's 
introduction to the Thursday Friday mashup video blog and that is what I'm dealing with with the Iron Man video a lot more difficult than I was expected um, and it's going to be two late evenings Thursday Thursday evening probably into Friday evening I can't go to London tonight because if I didn't if I went to London tonight then I wouldn't have this video live for Saturday at midday which I promised you guys so I'm gonna get it live for Saturday at midday and um I need to take that. Good morning, guys. The time is back to the secondary school clock. Nearly 20 past nine. I wonder whether SB will change the clock after I've slagged it off all week, secondary school style. Um, Today is the waiting, the waiting game. Uh, the memory card still hasn't arrived and it's supposed to arrive today and I have to sign for it. So unfortunately, my sister is just going to have to sit at home all day waiting for the memory card um, so that when it comes, she can sign for it, take it in, and then I'm going to have to run home and get it because this... this because this memory card has probably got between one and a half to two hours worth of footage that needs to be edited. And if I want this video up at midday tomorrow, then I'm not gonna get any sleep tonight because I'm gonna have to be editing this video. I've got two sections. I will show you them now. Oh, you're well close. Um, how do I get them up? Got my editing software. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Hopefully you have, oh you can't even see me at all, don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hope you enjoyed the Novitech 458, that car is absolutely nuts and is one of the reasons why for my next car I want the 458, uh, but I also know Army Tricks exhaust system is absolutely nuts and um, in the next couple of weeks I'll actually experience a 458 exhaust system from Army Tricks first hand, which is pretty amazing. So we've got the first lot of final footage, ah, oh, the glare. So we have, oh, look at that, that's a good shot. 15 minutes there, and I swear I edited the GoPro stuff as well. Anyway, I have the GoPro footage as well. So um, we've got three camera angles, um, I'm hoping to make it into about a 10 minute clip, just literally using all of the best bits to make it uh, 10 minutes of pure reactions and um, I'm excited. I just hope that um, the memory card comes sooner rather than later. It's 20 past nine now, so if it comes in the next hour then I'm going to have all day to edit it, which would be absolutely amazing. If it comes at four or five o'clock in the afternoon, then I'm not going to get any sleep. Simple as that. So I'm just going to sit around, eat some sweets, swing around on a boss's chair, like a boss, but I'm not. I'm standing boss. Back to my normal desk on Monday, which I'm not looking forward to. Your good old dining room table. Not looking forward to that. So there's not a lot that I can do today apart from hang around and wait for this memory card. And then once the memory card comes, then it's going to be a huge rush to get this video online. But obviously, I want this i want this video to be as perfect as possible. I want this video to be the best Supercars of London video that I have done with my Audi The R8. fuel video was good. It was uh, completely took me by surprise breaking that button, which really annoyed me. Um, do you know what would be a really cool video? Damn it. thought that was... Uh, I thought that was a text, but it's not. It's Aleem, just chatting about the video blogs and his experiences. Um, I can't remember where I was. I remember where I was. I was talking about what would be a really cool video idea. Going through some of my old footage of when I first bought the Audi R8 when it was silver with the carbon side blades and silver five spoke wheels and just uh, talking about some of my reactions and emotions as I was filming there. 
because um, I don't think, well obviously my uh, emotions and feelings were put across in the video, but now looking back I've probably got a different view to it and um, I think that'd be quite an interesting video. So maybe next week I'll do a video blog looking at some of my older videos, talking about the uh, memories that I've got with, that's loud whatever that is, ruining my video. Talking about some of my emotions, uh, looking back on some of those videos. So next week, that's going to be a video blog. Good idea for by me. Um, again, if you've got any other ideas on video blogs, I've got a list of uh, videos that I need to film from you guys that commented on my video last Monday, I think it was. So if you've got any more video ideas, any more challenges, or anything, uh, any thoughts on what you want to see on Supercars of London, please let me know and I'll add it to the list and try and get them filmed as uh, much or as quickly as possible for you guys. And one, uh, one more uh, video idea that I I've got as well is I've had the car now for a good four to five months I think and it didn't look like that when I bought it I uploaded a throwback Thursday photo on Instagram yesterday when it was silver with the carbon and I'm definitely looking at doing a video talking about the ownership of this car talking about the costs talking about how much money you need to have one of these to run, run one of these um, but also the uh, personalization and customization modifications that I've done to the car I think it would be a cool video to uh, sort of document what it's like to own a car like that because even though the car costs around £45,000 which is 50% of its uh, initial price uh, it still is expensive to run the fuel is uh, very expensive and, um, to run. it's definitely worth me doing an ownership review of the Audi R8 with the project's design wheels the army tricks exhaust and the kit customs wrap so that's definitely going to be coming I just need to uh, oh, oh my arm is killing oh I just need to find a cameraman who is um, available to come down and help me film. So I might get on doing that now and organise it for next week so that we've got lots and lots of videos to come on Supercars of London. The time is just gone midday. Have I had a text about my memory card? No. What am I doing to pass the time? watching Lewis Hamilton go through the Monaco Tunnel in his Zonda 760LH on repeat. What do you think of it? I need to set myself a mission in the next 12 months to video that car, the Lewis Hamilton edition Zonda 760 in purple absolutely mental car but it only gets driven in Monaco where Lewis Hamilton lives or is a resident because obviously he travels a lot around so um, when he's back in Monaco he tends to take it out for a drive and I promise that I will see that in the next 12 months so stay tuned for that on Supercars of London. <laughs> Best news of the day, the memory card has arrived, time is 5 to 1, now it's time to get excited, get this video edited. I think it's probably going to take me a good three to four hours to get this video spot on. Oh, so out of breath. Damn it. But the memory card is here. The video is definitely going to be going live at midday. Out of the excitement of my memory card arriving, I forgot to mention that I'm also being the ice bucketer on the new ice bucket challenge. I'm not sure how this is going to work. It whether I'm... Windy. Windy. <laughs> I think that worked. Mm. 
So there you go, there's the Thursday, Friday mashup video blog on uh, my hope, bit of behind the scenes of getting the Iron Man video ready for tomorrow at midday. Here's a little teaser of what's to come. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe and tune in tomorrow for the Iron Man reaction video, the full Iron Man reaction video. Cheers guys, take care.